everyone, welcome to episode 6 of Pistol Pete's Training. Uh, we're just going to jump straight into it guys and continue answering the question that we started on in episode 5 and that was two questions. Of one, how to stay motivated all the time and two, what is work ethic and how can it be applied to the sales industry in order to be successful. So the third tip I'm going to give guys is understanding when to work hard and knowing when to switch off. So a lot of people, they're working hard continuously and what I see is that people end up burning out and they get to a point where they should be working hard and you see them switching off and doing stuff they shouldn't, which isn't productive. So there needs to be a balance, guys, between working hard and switching off. Now, this doesn't mean that it needs to be a 50-50 balance. That is rarely the case, especially when you're starting off, but you need to know when to switch off. So it's basically, it's the saying of working smart, not hard. So if you're wanting to switch off, you have to know when to do this. So if you're in an area or a place where you can actually take action to grow your business or grow yourself or to get productivity, then it's put down working hard, working hard, working hard. If you're in an area that doesn't allow this, then that's the place where you should be switching off. But the key to switching off is being organized. I see a lot of people trying to switch off and they can't fully switch off because they haven't actually finished the tasks and the jobs that they need to. So with being organized, what it allows you to do is actually relaxes the brain and it allows you to switch focus. So this will allow you to move from task to task, actually completing them, and then it allows you then to switch that focus again to something that isn't work related. It means that in that spare time when you're not in an arena for growth, it means you can actually switch your focus to something outside of that work arena, allow your brain to relax, it allows stress to release, and it actually allows you for a much better sleep as well. And as we know, all of these stuff are really important, not only to switch off, but to recharge those batteries. So when you're back in that arena where you can actually get growth, you can work fully hard, fully charged, uh, and actually get the most out of that productivity. And the last tip I'm gonna give today, guys, tip four, is about loving the process, not the results. So a lot of people have all their focus on the results. So they're in the sales industry, they're looking to get a certain promotion, obviously in the business, or in general in life, a lot of people seek out a certain goal to achieve something, for example, buying a BMW or buying a big and fancy house. Now, unfortunately, the problem with this and focusing on results is when you don't hit those results or don't hit that goal, what happens is we become unhappy. And when we lose happiness, we lose enthusiasm and excitement. And as we've shown in episode five, when you lose enthusiasm and excitement, so do we lose work rate. But the truth of the matter is, if you look at these results, if you hit these goals, they only ever bring short-term enthusiasm and short-term happiness anyway. Uh, I'm sure every single person watching this video can think back to a time where they had a goal of getting a certain promotion, maybe within sales or within another type of work industry, or achieving and buying an iPhone or a laptop or a TV or a car. And absolutely, when you get it, it brings short-term happiness and you're ecstatic and work rate's high, happiness is high, enthusiasm is high. But after a while, whether that be a couple of days or a few weeks or even a month, what happens is this becomes the norm again. What happens is our happiness levels just revert back to the norm. So does our excitement and our enthusiasm and so does our work rate. So the truth of the matter is use them on the short term. Absolutely. They drive short term enthusiasm. We already talked about in episode five. But you need to understand and love the process more in order to gain long term work rate. So there's a famous saying that everyone's heard, if you find a job that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And that's true, guys. You need to start loving that process. If you love the process, the highs and the lows, what you'll find is that you'll find higher work levels and higher work rate, and you'll be able to maintain that on a lot longer basis because you're just loving and enjoying what you're doing. And with infusers and excitement comes work rate, they come hand in hand. So that's the end of episode six, guys. Uh, very short and easy. It was just those final two points to cover. But obviously, apply episode five and six combined, guys. If you apply those four tips, what you'll find is not only you'll have increased happiness through loving that process, but what you'll find is you can actually drive short-term enthusiasm and short-term work rate, but then you'll be able to, over a longer period of time, cultivate a long and aggressive work ethic uh, within your team and within yourself as well. So apply those skills, guys. Uh, any more questions, send them into pistolpeatraining at gmail.com. 
Go on Instagram, follow us on there, that's Pistol Peak Training. And please click subscribe below. If you click subscribe, it saves me sending out and spamming every single person with these videos, and it'll just target those people that are really interested. So please click subscribe, and once we reach 100, we can change that URL to something nice and easy. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining for episode six, guys. It's been a pleasure, and I look forward to seeing you on episode seven. We've got an amazing question lined up that's gonna be focused on systems, uh, and how to obviously eliminate some of those self-doubts through that. So thanks so much guys and see you next time.